I'm Sean Harris, and I'm absolutely obsessed with wake surfing. Well, I grew up in South Florida. Uh, I was a surf punk when I was a kid. Uh, definitely ocean surfed only and skateboarded. But that's been about 30 years. I moved here to Atlanta for work. I've uh, lived in the area for seven and a half years. Lived on the south side on a small lake where you couldn't have gas boats. My wife talked me into moving up to the Dawsonville area. And we were thinking about getting a pontoon. And when we started looking at boats, I found the boat that I have now and uh, fell in love with it pretty fast. I thought maybe we would enjoy wakeboarding or wake surfing occasionally and it turned into an absolute obsession. You know this is this has been a a challenge for me. Uh, everybody told me I was too old for this. They told me I'd probably hurt myself. Somehow I've managed to prove them wrong, get out there and hang with a lot of the younger guys and really get out and shred. The escape on the water for me is probably the best part. When I can get out on the water and, you know, if it's, whether it's just me and the family or me and some buddies, get out on the water and and enjoy surfing, take all the stress from everything that's going on in the world right now and kind of put that aside and just get a solid you know, few hours in of nothing but fun, exercise. And honestly, it's been something that I've been so passionate about. I've been trying to do anything I can to get the word out to people maybe considering getting into something like this or doing something new, trying something that maybe is outside their comfort zone. Uh, but I've been trying to get as much following, you know, into this sport as, as I possibly can. Surf ATL community, I thought it was basically going to be making some connections with, with people that already knew about the sport. Um, and maybe I'd get a few extra people to go with or uh, to come with me. Uh, but it's turned into a lot more than that. I've already developed, even in the short time this year, being with Surf ATL. I've made some friendships that I'm sure will last even long after I've moved out of this landlocked state and back to a beach somewhere. Uh, I'm sure the friendships are, are going to be solid and, and ones that I can cherish.